and have become morally bankrupt. Unfaithfulness is now the order of the day. They chase everything in skirts and trousers. Shameless acts have become virtues among men of timber and caliber. It's a shame. What a shame. A You're such a beautiful girl. Did you learn this art from the Kesha girls? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're such a beautiful girl. And I must reward you adequately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me reward you, you know. Let me, let me, let me. Yes, let me, let me, let me reward you. Miss Bokola Johnson. Yes, two hundred thousand. What? What? What's going on here? You're just what? No, 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 no. I should take what he did. Who is she? So you've been cheating on me, eh? Yes. You've been cheating on me. I have a wife. Yes. Okay. Okay. Chief. Why are you cheating on me? Chief. Yes. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. Chief, take a look at your time. It's almost 1 a.m. Where are you coming from by this ungodly time of the night? From the club. Which club? Chief, which club? So you think it was getting late that a man of a man that has a family should come home early? Enough of this interrogation, Hilda. Okay? Get out. Look, Chief, I've been trying to cope with your attitude of coming home late. But I don't think I want to take it again. So what, what if something to... happens to you? You see, what you should be doing, woman, is praying that nothing happens. A man of your social status should reason better than this. Are you calling me an idiot? Hilda, you're walking out on me. Hilda. Hilda. Dad, you're just coming home. Is that supposed to be good evening? 
Good morning, Dad. It's past 1 a.m. It's past 1 a.m. So what? Please, Daddy. Stop coming back late. I don't know what makes you stay out so late that you forget. Are you out of your mind to be talking to me like that? I am your father. And by virtue of my position, you, my father, should not make you stir people up when they should be in their beds. What kind of example that is very short of me, Dad? You know who you're talking to like that? My dad. A two-time minister of information and culture. Who makes his family unhappy, especially his wife. Richard, come back here. Richard! Hi, Mom, are you trying to tell me that Dad won't be coming home tonight? I don't think so. It's early morning already. Look at the time. One thirty a.m. So, are you telling me that Dad does not stay home? And you, you're condoning this? My dear, I have done my best, but it's not easy. I love your father. Marriage is for better for worse. Marriage is for better for worse. If this is what marriage is all about, Mom, I will not take part in it. In Europe, such a thing does not happen. This is total rubbish. This is not marriage. Hey, sir. Your father was not like that before. Everything changed when he entered politics. But he is no longer in politics. Ah. What's your politician? Always a politician. Is that <laughs> why you cannot know his whereabouts? You can't call him. His phone is switched off. He cannot even call you. Isabella, I have gotten used to it. As a human being, I get worried. I just pray that everything is fine. Within wherever he is. That dad could not even come and pick me from the airport. Knowing fully well that we are arriving today from Europe, after four good years of academic surgery, he couldn't come and pick me. And he is not at home. Don't get yourself worked up, Isabella. Oh, I shouldn't get myself worked up. When my own father, my dad doesn't have regards for me. I shouldn't get myself worked up. You know that's not true. Maybe he's one of these, they are long waiting. Oh yes, maybe. Maybe he just forgot about me. Let's just say that, okay? But I was there with my friend Hilda. Precious and your friend Prince, they were all there. That wasn't enough, mother. Dad should have been there. He should have been there. Isabella, my princess. Oh, I'm sorry I was not at the airport to welcome you. Meeting I had on the 4 30 a.m. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, my princess. Come on. Daddy, please. It's not fair. How could you? Or is it because my mom is dead? Oh my god. How could you, Dad? Don't to my mom. Please. I said I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you now. Give your daddy a smile. I will.
Are you deaf? I said, you see me? Are you deaf? I said, you see me and can't you greet me? You're pushing me. I'm pushing you. What is wrong with you? What's biting you? Okay, fine. You want me to tell you? My problem is that my sister is dating a married man. Will you shut up? Stop. Why not you go and settle down with a young man instead of getting a tangled with you for four days? He has a wife. He won't marry you. How dare you? Slap me. Oh yes, and I'll slap you again, Michael. Listen to me. And he loves you for four days. Okay? And he loves me. And he's going to marry me. How many, how many of your so-called young men can take care of me the way he does? Because he bought this house for you? Yes, because he bought this house for me. And let me tell you something. I don't love Chief Accordingly because of material things. I love him because he takes care of me. He pampers me. He's there for me. Sister, you had better go and get married. was lodged into silver bank into different accounts. But what? Uh, the, the, the reasons for the lodgement isn't stated here. This must be money laundering. Who says that private investigators are not efficient? <laughs> yes, it's not it. The end of me, Jabu The man unravels of mysteries. The boss of Kakama. The great activist, Martin Luther King. You know you're in love with the video. Good morning. What's up, man? Fine, man. I'm fine, fine. So far now, did you succeed? Of course I did. You see, there are two documents here which state that Silver Bank is involved in money lending. How do you mean? I mean, look, look at it. Uh, 1.3 million US dollars was lodged in silver bar from two different accounts. I see. This is money laundering. This is money laundering. <laughs> My client will be happy to hear this. This is payback time for the bank. Because my client was dismissed without gratuity because he was against money laundering. Can you imagine? Some of those banks have left car banking businesses into illegal transactions. Richard, your client must take his pound of flesh. The battle has just started. I will petition the central bank, mm. the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The lawyer with a vision. I said my client is going to liquidate this bank because of this document. You know, well, of course, the proof is so obvious. Um, okay, don't worry, I'll try and get more information about the owner of the account. Okay? I'm sure he must be a job payer. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you, man. Thank you. Thank you know, I want to do this with you. I'm happy. Um, so, can I, can I keep a copy of this or? I don't know. Let me just do more information. Mm. I'll let you know. All right. For now. Thanks, thanks. So, Tonight at the club, don't forget to come and I'll beat you. Eh? Don't yeah. forget to. <laughs> I'll beat you. No, dig this away. Dig this away. No, no, no. I'll beat you tonight. Oh, All right, this time. Yeah. 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 Would you go with me? 
No, I want to stay here and watch the political terrain. Anything can happen. Yeah. Well, the son's car is not here. He hasn't come back. Yes. He said he had to have big cases to hurry and cut here. I wonder why my son chooses to suffer when he can join my thriving shipping business. Who do I leave this business to? Your son says he wants to come with you as a kid for his 35 years old. Great. With the level of his radicalism, I'm sure it will take him a longer time. Yes, no radical lawyer can get his sonship at a young age. That's the truth. Look at our uh, senior advocate of the masses, for instance. How old was he when he made his uh, sonship? How old? But why is it so? Why? When you go on collision course with the government all the time, you criticize their policies all the time, then you have yourself to blame. Oh, you see, I don't understand. If the government makes policies that does not bend the masses, should be criticized. Mean that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let, let me tell you, my dear. You may not understand. You may not understand. Okay. So why are you coming to me? I don't know. Please, Abella. I know. Now that she's back, you have released your fresh. You're yeah. happy, right? I'm happy my friend is back. You're coming. <laughs> Going. If it's on my way, let me drop it. I'm going to Lake. Ah, uh, well, that's not my way, but I will drop it. A pretty girl like you should understand. Thank you very much. What is happening in this life Men have become morally bankrupt. Unfaithfulness is now the order of the day. They chase everything in skirts and trousers. Shame. That is very big scale. Thank you very much. I'm yeah, happy to have you here. Yeah. Let's look at the fine legs. Okay, that's good. So what's your name? It's a shame. My God. She carried. Do you know me? Isabella, your daughter is my friend. Uh, please. Have this one. Take another drop and go. Please, keep, just give me rest. Don't tell my daughter what happened to you. I said, take it. Please. Can I go down? And you? I'm fine, thank you. God! Oh, this is lovely. Oh, really? Tell me something. Serious. You look like now, Miku. This is so lovely. In short, I'm taking this one. You go and buy it from wherever you go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll get you. I'll get you some. I promise. Some Serious. Oh, thank <laughs> you very, very much. I've come to take you out. You are painting the tower red. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you. How about your parents? They are fine. Richard? He's fine. I hope to take it to Abella. 
Oh, that's nice. Okay, let me change to something better. Okay. I'm inviting you to the and the house is Wow, that was really nice. Okay. I'll call your parents and tell them. Alright, ma. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Let's go in and wait for your friend. Alright, ma. Isabella. Huh? Don't you think you should say hi to your sage? Which is again? Excuse me. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Your boyfriend. Oh, oh, oh. You mean my ex-close friend? Are you trying to deny him or what? No, Quincy, I'm not denying anybody. But I and Asage were just ex-close friends, okay? Doza, he wanted something more than that. You know, all these big boys are full of heartbreaks and I don't want any problems. My, I don't want to break my heart, please. <laughs> I was actually pulling your legs. You started it again. I ran into Asage this morning and he asked after you and I told him... Anyway, I don't have his time. I know him too, too well. I know him. Please, I don't have his time. Quincy, let's go. Just forget about Sage. So where are we going? Isabella, hey, you're looking real ravishing, you know, and I just feel you should go to Crystal Images and take some shots from oh there with paint it all right. What sort of shot is that one that this hot afternoon? Excuse me, stop complaining, let's go. We left the pitch for the bird, turned more with a Remy, magic burgos and many from the bus to a Bentley cool. With a closet full of shoes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I smile, sir. I want you to spend a life with me. Hey, Isabella, what are you doing? Are you going to come back here? Look, my wife. Please, stop, stop talking about your wife. That old man that can't even take good care of you. I never told you that my wife. Girl. If she does, why do you come chasing me like the way flight chases human escorts? Why don't you stay with her and just leave me the hell alone? Girl, you know I care a lot about you. I care for you. you if you me? care for me, yeah. then prove it. I mean, I know you shower me with gifts, money, but that's not enough. I need you to spend more time with me. You know, if you see me with younger men now, you start getting angry and jealous. Yes, you're never there. Well, I don't you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to prove it tomorrow. Tomorrow from morning to evening, I'm going to stay with you. I'm through the night. I am going to stay with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Quincy, where are you coming from? I went out to the Savela district. And it is according to you that it is late. Let it never happen again. Because the next time I get a report that my daughter is seen around a hotel with a miscreant, I'll deal Mama, with you. Yes. Why do you want to have a drink? Isn't there any other place you can go and have a drink but Quintessence? Huh? I don't understand. Is it that I don't have the right to go out or I'm not get it? I want to. Next time we'll you don't have to shout on her like that. I mean, she doesn't come home late. She's always home early. So you don't have to shout on her. Why don't you ask her quietly why she's late? Instead of shouting on her. Gentlemen, I, I, I never invited you into this. Dad, this is why I always have a problem with you. You hate to hear the truth. Are you saying before my face that I have a problem? With due respect, Dad, I want you to search your conscience and see if you've been a role model to your children. Today is the only day you've come back to this house before 12 midnight. I don't think you have the moral justification to talk to your daughter in that manner while you are a night crawler. Richard! Have you gone mad? Don't you have respect for your father? Respect. Does my father have respect for himself? Dad, I'm just looking at your lifestyle. I know what you do with your friends out there. I honestly think you should be ashamed of yourself. Richard, how dare you teach your father now? Don't you know this mission in society? Have you gone mad? Richard. <laughs> What's wrong with this boy? I see you're a full grown man now. I want you to know that two captains cannot run a ship. No way. But you have the impetus to challenge me in my own house. I think it's high time you left my house. Yes. Leave my house. No, I'm back. Now. I'll go back. How do you call it? What are you doing like that? Richard, it's your house. I'm leaving. Richard, it's your house. Richard, mom, 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 mom. Please. No. I'll leave now. This is house. Mom, there's no need for all this. I will leave. You're just upset. Can't you understand? Please. The man says, please. I'm telling you. Mom, please stop it now. Please. Mom, I'm going to go down with this. Please. 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 Are you aware that your godfather invited us to dinner on Sunday to honor Isabella, his daughter, who just came back from abroad? No, Dad, I'm not aware. All the same, I want you to be there. On Sunday? Yeah. Ah, no, I, I don't think I can meet. A member of the civil liberties organization is having a special meeting. I have to be there. Are you turning down this invitation? No, Dad. It's just that I've given my word to Mr. Obaka that I have to honor the invitation. I have to. Is this Mr. Obaka more important than your godfather? Huh? Dad, please don't misunderstand me. I'm sorry. I don't think I can make it. Okay. Have it your way.
High time you people ended that Cold War. Yes, yes, I would want to see the Cold War ended. You understand? Yes, yes. So I want him to come to me and say that he is sorry for working against me when I went for clearance from my ministerial appointment. Yes, if you were not there, my friend. I will not be clear. So well, that's correct. Yes, yes. And you know what I did? That's one sort of scandal against him that cost him his free election. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chief <laughs> Pedro. All I know is I am one. Yes. But some are more important than others. Say it's just old. Very yeah, right. And that is one thing he never understood. Right. When he realized that I was responsible for his failure, then he went everywhere. You know, he went to the press, he wrote so much to them, but none of them got published. Then he realized that I am the shark. <laughs> yes, and when the big one appears in the sea, all small fishes disappear. Yeah. Yes. And the sea vibrates. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's, that's, yes. that's what I that look. Oh my god, here comes my queen, my sword. Oh, come, 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 I miss you, honey. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Thank you. Oh, that's my baby. Hi, I'm very busy.
Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> oh. Whenever I am so happy. God did our own family planning for us, you and I. Yes, so we have two children each. One boy, one girl. <laughs> it's wonderful. But there are two children already started life. While my son, the precious, is yet to get an admission. That will come. Yeah. That will come with yeah. time. Daddy, I will get admission in case you get Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> Tell precious to go and read something else. You understand? So that you don't have two captains in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I officially welcome you back home. Thank you very much. That's my daughter. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> my dear. You two are having your own discussion here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's happening in this life. Men have become morally bankrupt. Unfaithfulness is now the order of the day. They chase everything in skirts. Hey, hey. Come on, get out from that place. Don't open that gate. Anoja, who is that? Anoja, open the gate. Nobody's opening this gate this night. Mommy, please now. Anoja, open the gate. Nobody is opening this gate this night. Yes. Yes. Shut your mouth up. Oh, I have nobody from this night. I have nobody from this. Go back to where you're coming from. Nobody's opening this gate for you this night. This summer is me. So what? 2 a.m. That's why you're coming back to your house. Go back. Mommy, the neighbors are hearing us. Let them hear. Open this gate now, this night. Harrison, go back to where you're coming from. Nobody's opening this gate for you this night. Go back. Go and sleep there. Don't go have bed. So? You will regret this. Let me regret it, but for now, you're not entering this house this night. Go back. Go and sleep there. Let's go. Lock up this place. If you open this gate this night, you will leave this house. If you will leave immediately, just open it and you see. What was the meaning of what you did last night? I will do it again. Look, Harris, I am out for you now. Next time you come out to this house after 10 o'clock, I am going to personally lock that gate. You are joking. 
Try it. Let's bet it, Harrison. Do it again. I will send you back. Send me back in. Harrison, you know you can't do it. You can't. You don't even have the nerve to do it. Christina, you are pushing me to the wall. Do whatever you want to do. I am ready for you now. Stop trying my temper. I'll divorce you. Divorce me? Harrison, you think you can kill me the way you kill your you realize? You cannot kill me. Christina! Yes! What did you say? I said I am not your evil wife. I am Christina. And you cannot kill me the way you kill her. Okay. You want to divorce me now, officially? You know you have already divorced me unofficially. One lad did you sleep with? One lad did you sleep with me? Mr. Divorce. Come, come and divorce me now. You try it. Try it. I am going to show you that I am worse than a sheep devil. Try it, Harrison. Come and divorce me. Come and divorce me, man. Come and divorce me. Come and divorce me. Come, come and divorce me. You are black and I am black. You come from the same place. You can't treat me when you treated like you are evil wife. Come and divorce me now. Come. Come, Mr. Divorce. Sorry, I just want to talk to you. Oh, Harris, leave me alone. I want to sleep. Please, Please Daddy. I said sorry. Yeah. Oh. Harrison, I have forgiven you, but you won't contest any election. I'm no longer comfortable with this your late night business. I don't want them anymore. Uh, but I need your support, Nadia. There's nothing I can do with this. See, I promise you, after this election, with politics. I just want to become the governor of Wawa State. And I want you there. You can use the NGO to better the lives of the less privileged people in the state. I know. Yes. My spirit does not accept this. I don't like this our uh, politics anymore. It's now a do or die affair. I don't want it. Uh, I assure you, nothing will happen See, after this. No. Okay? Harrison, when was the last time you touched me? Are you trying to bribe me? I'm not that cheap. After today, what happens tomorrow? Oh, Christy. I'm sorry, I won't stop you. No, 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 you're not grabbing me. That's it, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Christy, I'm not going to be happy, okay? Our mothers are lonely 
and crying Our little sisters are spoiled Oh no, save my society from this immorality. Dad, I've come to talk to you because I learned you're running for Senate. Yes, my party has nominated me to run for the Senate. And you accepted the nomination? Richard, when the big wigs in your party say you should run, you have no option but to run. If elections in this country were to be free and fair, mm. I hope you know you will never win. Why did you say so? The leadership of this country has always been third eleven instead of first eleven. You were two-time minister of this great country, Dad. What did you do for your country? Absolutely nothing. We are tired of old and, and corrupt politicians who go to the corridors of power and do nothing but embezzle money. We need pragmatic leaders with new ideas to forge this country forward. The masses are suffering, Dad. Thanks to me, you won't die, Richard. Because, son, people with your state of mind have died, Richard. True. Yes. Stop deceiving yourself with this Marxist philosophy. You understand? Because capitalism has swallowed socialism long time ago. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even the good book says that he who has more shall be given to him. And he who has not even that little that he has shall be taken away from him. The same Bible says, What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Now, are we preaching socialism or we're talking politics? Because the two cannot go hand in hand. All I'm saying there is the speaking time. That's all. Thank you very much, son. And remember, that you will not die poor because I have worked for it. It has come to stay. So please. Richard, do get the steward to put my kids in the car. Yes. I want to go and play a game. Pains me so much. Jake. Our fathers have lost Good. their respect. Our mothers are lonely and crying. Our little. What a sweet voice, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Please. Thank you. Now, my dear, don't be surprised. A queen like you, a world-class queen like you, needs to be visited from time to time so that we know how you're doing. Chief, please, don't flatter me. I'm not flattering you. You know, this is what I brought for you. Yes, you don't visit a queen empty-handed. No. So I don't open it. Do that when I'm gone. Thank you. You're welcome. Chief Petro. Yes. I've not seen Chief Harry since yesterday, and I've been trying to phone him, and I can't get through. He went to Abuja shortly. He went to Abuja? Mm-hmm. I couldn't even call to let me know. Okay. I'm so sorry. What can I offer you? Mm -hmm. Listen, Bertie, in all honesty, just offer yourself to me. And I'll be all right. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Listen, Bertie. You've been giving me sleepless nights. Honestly, I can't do anything meaningful without thinking about you. Honestly, each time I see you, it's like I'm trapped in, in a magnetic field. Yes. Listen, Betty. I can't carry on like this any longer. 
please. abroad as many times as you want to go within the year after the bill. Uh, this party caucus meeting. Uh, yes. Okay. We'll go together today. Okay? Yeah. And all this your caucus meeting, political meeting, we'll go, we'll go together as well today. And every other meeting, every other party, every other business will be going together as well today. No, my dear, my colleagues don't bring their wives to such meetings. That is your business. Okay? It's that is your business. I'm going with you. And every other meeting you're going to I'll go with you. Mm -hmm. And your wife has to. Oh, are you ashamed of me? No, I'm not ashamed of you. So let's go. In fact, as you show, show off my beautiful wife. Thank you. That should be it. It's alright. No, I wait for you. Wait for me. Let me just start with you. Don't you be ashamed now. It's alright. I'll get my bag, okay? Okay, my dear. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'll stay in the hotel and you'll attend your meetings. <laughs> Honey, I don't understand you these days. You won't understand me. Is it because I've been keeping quiet? Keeping quiet over what? Driver, give me that car. Let me see. Let me see you drive out of this place without me. I want to use this car. This car is my car. You can't use it. I bought it for you. Of course, it's mine. Uh, James, 
Sir. Get the keys to the other car. James, if you move an inch, you see what I'll do to you. Which key? Let me see how you drive out of this place now. Get man! Get man! Why is that get man? Give me the key to the gates. Give, give it to me. Nobody enters this place or goes out except I open the gate for the person. Give it to me. Is it because I would keep you quiet all this while? Nonsense. Can't go anywhere without me. Beautiful angel. <laughs> what do you want here? I tell you the truth. You are driving me crazy. Chief Pedro, I think you're sick. Maybe you're right there, girl. But you are responsible for my sickness. Let you. I have a check here for five million naira. Just for you. Really? Yes. Oh, gee. Five million? Yes. That's a lot of money. We've had enough of this. Please, please, my house. Would you regret it? Please, make me listen. Please, please. I want you to accompany me to my Nigga Hotel uh, in Abuja and go stay in the house. After the meeting, I come and give you a treat. What do you say to that? You don't hear me, did you? I said, leave my house now. Do you want me to stay? So this is the kind of friend you have. Eh? This is the kind of friend you have. What is wrong with her? I don't know. Whether she complained that you have not been coming for some time, that you have not sent her. Why you have not sent? And of course, well, I came here to look for you so that we can both take a trip. Be careful with her. Uh, I, I, I know she's upset, you know, because she hasn't seen you for some time. I'll wait for you. Okay? I'll wait for you. Shameless acts have become virtues among men. Up timber and water shade A big shade Oh no, 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 no Why haven't I seen you for the past three days? I'm sorry love, I've been very busy And you could not come I called you so many times But you refused to pick up your phone you promised you were going to spend the night here with me. I spent my time cooking your favorite dish and you did not call and you did not show up. What do you call that? Uh, Betty, please calm down. If I tell you, you won't understand. Tell me. I will understand. My wife has been sick. She was discharged from hospital today. Why has been very sick. She was discharged today. Nonsense. Complete rubbish. Did you hear me? So, your wife is now more important to you. Hey, 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 baby. Don't take it that way, okay? How do you want me to take it? How do you want me to take it? You left me here for the past three days only for you to stand right in front of me and tell me this cock and bull story. How do you want me to take it? Okay. Go to your wife. Go to your wife. I'll find somebody else. Betty! 
So you have another person. You now vex the bed, isn't it? Yes. I saw the way he behaved when I entered this compound. Look at you. How cheap you are. Look at you. Yes. Yes. Have you gone crazy? I've gone crazy. Betty, I've gone mad. You're driving me crazy. You slapped me mad. You slapped me, Betty. You! I'm bleeding. It's Chief Pedro. He annoyed me. He's been disturbing and pestering my life. Okay. Saying he wants to date me. Did I hear you right? Yes, you did. My own close friend? Promising me heaven and earth and saying all sorts of rubbish to me. He gave me a check of five million naira. I tore it right in front of him. But the pieces are still outside. I can't believe this. It is true. Don't go to Abuja now. Please. Stick with me. You know I missed you and I love you. Petty. You just have to allow me to go for the meeting, okay? Why don't you go to me? <laughs> oh, Betty. You're always winning. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Betty. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Isabel, to tell you the truth, the earlier the better. Mom, I can't. Moreover, I have to face my career for now. I cannot marry a black man. What is wrong in marrying a black man? Boy, there's nothing wrong in marrying a black man. But I love not see my boyfriend. Love each other. And he'll be coming to Nigeria in four months' time. We talk on the phone. Mom, I know he loves me too. I know that. My daughter, you are not going to marry a white man. How can the only daughter of Chief Harrison of Fordilia marry in a faraway continent where he cannot see you anytime he wants? And I cannot see you either. No. It is true you lost your mother when you were very tender. But I've always been the mother you know. I've always taken care of you. I've never disappointed you. And not at this moment. I will always tell you the truth. Mommy, I know all that. I understand. And I thank you so much for caring about me. But mom, if I and Jefferson should get married, we'll be coming for vacation. And you'll also be coming to visit us. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you at all. You must marry a Nigerian. So your father can see you whenever he wants. You and Precious are the only children we have. Mom, I can't. It's high time you realize that I'm a grown-up girl. If you really care about me as you say, then please give me this chance to choose my husband. Please, mom. Anyway, I thank God he hasn't proposed to me yet. And he will not, I don't know. Mm, yeah. Go oh, well. It's okay. Yes. Because I'm sure you're not like him. Yes, yeah, God be first. No problem. No problem. Good night. Ah. Jafari, why didn't you come to the meeting? Oh, that little girl was keeping you away from meetings. I mean, that's quite childish. Pedro, I'm really disappointed in you. You call yourself my friend? Yet you betrayed me! What are you talking about? You shamelessly went to my God. Despite the fact that you are my closest associate and my best friend. You are talking like a child. Now listen, my friend. I want you to respect my group. I didn't buy it in the market. 
That your gray hair makes no difference to me. After all, you are not much older than I am. Even if that girl told you a story, couldn't you have cross-checked with me? Why do you jump into conclusion? There is absolutely nothing to ask because your behavior came to when I met in her house. Said what's in that girl for me to, to, to begin to run after her? Huh? What's in that girl for me to begin to run after her? Listen, let me warn you, Harry. You're insulting me. You did it. You did it! You think I don't know? I saw the contract you gave to her. Signed by you, baby. You're talking nonsense. Nonsense. Stay clear from that girl, all right? What will happen? Hmm? Listen, Harry. You are biting more than you can chew. You mean you left your home or office to come here to insult me because of that little girl? I tell you this. I am going to have that girl. You will never, I bet you. You will never! Harry, you have dared me. Yes, and I'm going to have that girl at all costs. I will let you know that I am Pedro. You are a That is what you are. You are a total bulldog. Try and see. The porcupine has cars, yet it keeps it away from people until it is pushed to use them. Change! Never know the strength. But it varies its values. And it is forced to bring them out. You're here out of my office. Get out! Hello? Hello? Yes, Mike. Um, Mike. Oh, my dear. How are you? Fine. <laughs> you are welcome. Hello, Mike. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Eh? Good. Thank you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I came to tell you that I'm going to Port Harcourt for the women conference. Yeah, you said so. You said so. But I thought you have already gone. <laughs> I just wanted to stop over to see your face for last. <laughs> That's wonderful. I hope you have all you need. Yes, I have it. Okay. So, once you get there, you call me. I will. I always want to know how you care. Take care of yourself. I will. <laughs> I thought she was sorry. Yes, Pastor, can't you see that? Come on, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm always sorry. See, I thought she has gone. I'm Not sorry. Sure. It's okay, now it's all right. See, I will give you what I promised you. Okay? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's my baby. Mm. That's my baby. See, meet me at the hotel by 7 o'clock. Give you a look at the that's my baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Lisa. That's my baby. And why would you not go back into my office? Next time, if you do it, your job will be on the line. You must be careful, Central. Yeah. 
Mori na kesi. Good. I'm sorry. He waited. Okay. Ma, come on, dad. Let's go inside. <laughs> I was just busy. Go. Good job. I feel that two of us don't have me. But I feel that you hit me. Seriously. No, dad. The fact that we have ideological differences does not mean I hate you. You're still my father. It's an undisputable fact. You are my only son. And I feel deprived of the way a father and a son should relate. Yes. I want us to develop a cordial relationship. Dad, is there anything a son does for the father that I have failed to do? Yes. So much. Listen, son, you have alienated yourself from me. You do not come to me for us to discuss and, and, and read minds. It's because you don't discuss anything with me, Dad. Most of the time you reprimand me. Yes, I reprimand you because you, 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 you disrespect me a lot. You know? You disrespect me. I feel very bad that my only son talks to me with so much this day. It pricks my heart. I apologize, Dad. Sorry. But Dad, you have to please yourself. Sometimes the things you do really hurts me. Take for, for instance my mother. She's in there lonely. She needs your love, your attention. She's lonely. I'm sorry, son, if I have offended you. I'm sorry. I've come to inform you that your adoption by a small caucus of our party for you to run the gubernatorial race of our state has been nullified. Says who? You were not at the last meeting in Abuja. You have not answered my question, Chief Arese. Who nullified it? The party leadership. Was our vice national chairman at the meeting? Yeah, he was there. And the chairman himself. Yes. And they unanimously agreed that I should draw while you step down for me. Me? Step down for you? Yeah. <laughs> that is impossible. Do you have a better credentials than I do? If I you might have better credentials than I do. But in politics, the best I've never voted for. What matters is who is your godfather. I don't believe that. By the way, what are you doing here? Well, I've come to make a deal with you. A deal? Yeah. <laughs> so, what is the deal in family? Yeah. I'll make you my running mate, my deputy, if you support me. And if I win, of course I will. You will appoint the secretary to the state government, the commissioner for finance, and then the commissioner for works and housing. How about that? Third deal. Alaji Idris has already informed me about what happened in that meeting. 
the politicking and the rest. You indicated an interest and you were asked to step down. But you insisted on the primaries. Just be very careful. I know those backing you, you all were there. They will never smell the open house. Mark my words. Chief Arizona, that is the writing of an act. Yeah, agreed. I'm an ant. But let me tell you something. No matter how big the elephant is, it is not the strongest animal. It will never, ever be the governor. Are you threatening me? Oh, are you afraid? We are in politics and the survival of the fittest. We'll see who plays it better. Christine. Yes. I hope you realize you need to do a special shopping for what we are going to wear in the practice convention. I have that in mind already. Apart from buying new clothes and shoes, I think I also need to change my wardrobe. Buy new sets of jewelry. Oh yeah? Change my steps. You know? You know what I mean? I know what I mean. Christy <laughs> baby! First lady in the making. Ah, check me out. And that's where you're going to prepare for your first lady ship. Hilda, in no distant time, I am going to be the signature of all eyes in every gathering. That's right. In almost all the occasions, both of us we put on the same dress with the same design. Yes. You know what again? I am going to beat the record of the former first lady who was most flamboyant first lady Nigeria has ever had. Oh yeah. I'll also beat the first lady of Philippines, Imelda. Marcos. Who was acclaimed best dressed first lady in the whole wide world. Yeah, Chrissy. When Marcos was a power. So that's the tall and <laughs> You know what that means? That you're going to be the best in the whole world. I can see it. Because nobody ever beats her. <laughs> Well, humble Hilda, I will make you be my second best. I think humble. <laughs> Am I not humble? What do you mean by that? <laughs> anyway, we have to start going to the gym. We shed little weights. Yeah. Whatever we wear will be well fitting. Yes. So that our men do not look sideways. You yeah. understand what I mean? I understand what you mean, Christine. I understand what you mean. You see, you need to see the way women. I mean, desperate women flock around the political class. I know that. It's amazing. Mm. That's why we have to keep our eyes wide open. Because anything can happen. My dear, we have enough water so that soap will not enter our eyes. Yes, so <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Wife of the Senate President. That's me. You are too shy. Yes. Oh, you want me to be in the water and so will enter my eyes? Never. No. Nobody will take what belongs to me. You need to see the I will know these girls dance. Have you seen the I dance? They don't dance apart from using the waist. Christy, I've learned to dance that way. Look at you. With all this weight. What do you mean? What have you got to do with this? Not to do this. I'm good at it, you know. My dear. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, the waist. That will show you what you do now, baby. Isabella, what's the matter with you? You're not serious. I just spoke to him on phone. The phone is nothing. I wish I could just see him again. That's love. I beg you. Know. Precious, precious. precious. How was that nice today? Fine. <laughs> I think it's me. Are you going out? Yes, yeah. I am. I just want to get something out of the closet. What do we do? They just go back from lesson and you have to switch, or don't you think so? Since you're going to the gloss, I'll pick something there. Okay, no problem. 
Thank you very much, my lovely sister. And so let me keep my bag and come in. Ah, oh, is so sweet. I just named that. I think that's good. And he loves you. <laughs> I know that, and I love him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Looking back on all I put you through Too much of a thug nigga to tell you that I love you I, love you. I know I made mistakes Here hoping and praying that it ain't too oh, late oh. I thought I, I had, had my game, game tied I thought I had it Yeah <laughs> Betty, that's a wonderful Steve. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, go ahead, my queen. Say anything you want. Um, I don't understand. You know your election is fast and you won't be Did you say marriage? I wish to marry me now. Um. Well, why didn't you tell me all the quiet that you're pregnant? You just have to go and remove it. Go and do DRC. I don't want that pregnancy. So wicked. How can you be so callous? But I never told you I needed a second wife. You are just my mistress. Don't ruin my political career and my marriage. Okay? You have me. Get rid of this pregnancy. <laughs> Where's my driver? Christy, mm, come on, I have to leave uh, before Chief comes back. Oh, Chief Harry.
You're crying. What's the problem? It's Chief the problem. So what did he do? I saw the whole thing. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Just because you're older. That man is hard-hearted. So what are you going to do? This I'm hearing. Is it true that Shivari is dead? I'm here. Is it true that Shivari is dead? Shivari is dead. Come to the mouth. Okay. 
You have come to carry the meat you have to do. I don't understand. Don't you don't kill my husband. 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 Uh, the late chief Harris wife made it is very serious. What do you have to say? I'm short. I am short of words. Did you at any time threaten the late Chief Harry? I don't have a hand in his bed. Even though I'm supposed to run the primary elections with him. That is not the answer to my question. Did you at any time threaten the man? The thing I told you was that he will never be the governor. That was all. But that does not mean I'm responsible for the death. No, you did. Yes, I, I did. You are liable. Honestly. How could you threaten a man like that? How could you say such things? That was a threat. And I bet you, you're not going to go free. Because the late Chief Harry was my best friend. And I am going to see that you face the full wrath of the law. I'm ready to face the law. Uh, I'm even ready to swear by Alice Yodika. Which Alice Yodika? Huh? The one that has lost its potency. Or didn't you hear that scourging against me at the shrine and took all the chief priests away? You didn't hear? Violence is asking for a while. They have destroyed me. They have destroyed me. They have destroyed me. Violence is asking for My godfather is dead. <laughs> Are you a politician? When did you get a godfather? No, not a political godfather. A Christian godfather. I am the godson of late chief Harry of Odile. What? <gasps> is chief Harry dead? Yeah. The former senator. He's dead. He and his son were assassinated at his residence. Has the police made an arrest? No arrest has been made. Kuti, I want you to conduct a private investigation. I'll study the situation and I'll get back to you. Alright. Who would you suspect? I'll get back to you. Yeah, but um, just let me know his political enemies. And then the, the politicians is contesting with him now, sir. I think this is an inside job. I'll get back to you. Cheers. Chief Harry dead? What?
I'm leaving. I'm moving into the hostel. I never knew my sister is a murderer. <laughs> I never wish to Why did you kill me? God, you don't even have the fear of God in you anymore. The Bible says, Thou shalt not kill. Not kill Jimmy. Hey, where did I go with mother? You said you were going to finish and destroy him. You killed him and his only son. Have you not finished that family? Are you not satisfied? Understanding what you've heard. Don't kill me. Stop sharing your good ideas. You have this. Ask you some questions. Yeah. I'm really shocked by the death of my boss and friend, and I must find the murderer. Well, Isabella, I must tell you, you have to be courageous. I'm trying, but I must get the killers of my father and my brother. I would not rest until I do so. I promise you I will assist in any way I can. But I am totally disappointed in those police officers over the release of Chivarinze, whom I consider to be a prime suspect. They are bringing politics in my father's death. His party is more interested in winning the elections and to protect their image. That was why Chivarinze was granted bail. In a mother case of this magnitude, but I will fight them. I have filed a suit at the High Court. Other human rights lawyers are interested in this case, especially Chief Atai, whose chambers I work with. I am using a friend of mine, Kuti, who is a private investigator to investigate this case. Thank you very much, Richard. You've really been an inspiration. Hey, God bless you. God bless you too. You take care of yourself, okay? Let me go see your mother in the sun. This country is spoiled. Can you believe Chief Arise has been released? I found this to the guest here. Which adult is it? It's um Shivarize and his case now. The man has been released. I
Kukuchi. You dare me? How are you? Am I supposed to say anything? Yeah, I asked you to come so that we can talk. Uh, it's unfortunate that my friend Harry is dead. Killed by some wicked people. You need someone to take care of you. I'm not complaining. I don't need anybody to take care of me. Listen, Betty. I want to take care of you. I'm still interested in you. Okay. My friend would do the same thing if you were alive and I were dead. Don't you think it's rather too early? Is it not the right time for this? Chief is still lying in the mortuary. Are you saying that uh, after the burial we can... I'm not saying anything. Betty, why did you kill Chief Harry? <coughs> I heard everything that young man said in your house that night. Yes, you. You said you would destroy him. Yes, and you did. The young man called you a murderer. Am I lying? You're not lying. But I did not kill him. That young man cannot lie. Look, who's that young man? His name is Michael. He's my younger brother. Your younger brother would not lie against you. No. Where were you on the night that Chief Harry and his son were murdered? Your brother asked you the same question and you had no answer. The first evidence that you killed the man is that you said you will finish and destroy him. Yes, the second evidence is that you disappeared that night and you didn't tell your brother where you were going. That was the same night that Harry and his son were murdered. Chief Harry and I had a misunderstanding. And that was it. And so you killed him? I did not kill him. No problem. When the police come and arrest you, take you to court, then you prove whether you are guilty there or not. But, if you're ready to play the game well, that could be a secret between the two of us. Yes. Hello. Daddy, good afternoon. Isabella's mother has just been rushed to the hospital and mommy has gone with them and we're actually on our way. Which hospital? The, the family hospital? Yeah, yeah, the family hospital, sir. Okay, I'll be there in 30 minutes, okay? <laughs> Chief Harry's wife is in the hospital. And I have to be there. So, I'll see you later. I did not kill Chiva. You did him that.
Do you mean that? Now listen, members of my party are putting on so much pressure on me and I want you to withdraw that suit from the court. Oh, no dad, I'm sorry. I will not. The judge has ordered for the re-arrest of Chief Arinze and I'm happy with that. Richard, you're playing with fire. I know dad, I know. I understand. But I'd rather die in pursuit of justice. And I'll be very happy in my grave. Listen, Richard. You understand? Chief Harry was my closest pal. He's dead now. But there's nothing that you and I do now to bring him back from the grave. Dad, the killers cannot go scot-free. If people are not punished for crimes they commit, it means the whole society will be in anarchy. Anybody can just do anything. Richard, in most civil societies, there are what you call sacred cows. Besides, this one touches me personally. If you don't withdraw that suit from the court, then my party will withdraw my candidature from the next Senate election. And that means that my ambition to become a Senate president, the next Senate president, will be thwarted. Well, I'm sorry, Dad. There's nothing I can do. I cannot go back on my principles. I cannot withdraw the suit. I'm sorry. The case is in two days' time, then. Sorry. Listen, Richard, you have to be Thank God you are looking better. Thank you. The People's Liberation Party wishes to come and pay a condolence visit to the family of late Harry Fordley on Saturday. We do respect, Chief. We don't want to see them. After how many weeks? I understand how you feel. However, they've not been able to come because of the accusation leveled against uh, Chief Arinze. They feel that you may not welcome them when they come. However, they have made uh, adequate arrangements for a defeating barrier for your husband. I am saying they because I am already a member of this family. But don't forget also that I'm a member of the party. Let them back off. We don't want to have anything to do with that. They are putting pressure again to release the suspected killer of my father and my brother. And they want to attend this burial. This is absolutely crazy. Hey, Sabella, uh, you are a very young girl and there are some intricate matters that you may not be able to understand properly. We don't want to understand you. We don't want to understand anything. They killed my husband and my son. And they are protecting the killer. My husband's relatives and my relatives will bury my husband and my son. If they deny us justice, there is judgment day of God. Thank you very much for your efforts. Let my husband's relatives have peace date for the burial. You're also part of the family. We are not excluding you. But since we don't want the party members, if they will penalize you because of your intention to contest the election, you can shun the burial. We will understand. No, my dear. I want you to understand that uh, the party means well. You see, the party... Let the party go to hell. Let them go to blazes. Why? Lack of evidence, so says the judge. How did it happen? According to the trial judge, there is no evidence to corroborate what Mrs. Ofodile said that her husband told her. 
Chief Arisa totally denied ever threatening my godfather and telling him that he, 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 will, he will not be a governor. He said, he said, he told him he will not win the governorship election. You're the prosecution. What did you say? Chief Atai, being a son and the most senior lawyer from the prosecution, explained the word threat. He said that since Chief Arise admitted telling my godfather he will not win the election, he could have killed him to stop him from winning the election since he went to his office to tell him that. Because he got me, that is a fact. No one is technical, it is. At the, so end of the day, at the end of the day, the, the, the judge set him free to exonerate himself from criticism. He said he was discharging Chivarize based on, on, on circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial what? Circumstantial evidence. That since Chivarize told the court that he was having a party meeting on that day, huh? there was no way he could have murdered him. Why was, why was my godfather not invited to that meeting? Why? His party members collaborated his evidence. Okay, you don't blame yourself. You don't even have to blame the judge. You see, he who pays the piper dictates the tune. I'm sure his hands were tied, sir. It's okay. Look, 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 you have to take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you going to be alright? Good as a culture. Isabel. Why are you going to be alright? Have to know. I'm not going to be alright. I'm not going to be alright. Mom, I came to see you. To make sure you're not so down because of the proceeding in the court today. I was surprised that Chief Arinza was this child and got put it. I understood what happened. In any case, you're a brilliant lawyer. The prosecution tried. But I know that. The killers of my husband and my son must be exposed by God. Mm. Richard, you can't care for anything. Mm. Richard, my son. Mom, good evening. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Police are trying to call today. Mm. You're quite pregnant. Since Chief's burial is next week, I would like to place obituary in print and electronic media just to serve as my little contribution towards his burial. Thank you very much, my son. Mm -hmm. My husband's relatives have opted for a quiet burial because of the way my son precious and my husband died. My husband's relations said they don't want any publicity. And I agree with them. I'd like to take my leave now. You take care of yourself. Okay. Isabella. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll 
Richard, tell your daddy I'll be home soon, okay? Bye. Mr. Chairman, there simply cannot beat a winning team. Yes, the judgment was a victory for our party. Yes. Yes. Uh, Honorable Chairman, the convention that was scheduled to take place in my state that was cancelled because of Chief Harry's death. When do we expect to have that convention? Huh? Oh, okay, after Chief Harris burial. Okay. Honorable Chairman, the thought that by stopping us from taking part in the burial, that uh, they deny us of victory at the polls. <laughs> but it's impossible. Yes, we'll, we'll have the tree at all costs. Thank you, I have no time for all that nonsense. You understand? Okay, I have no time for such uh, discussions. No, Santos, forget it. Okay. God. Yes. Why didn't you testify in court that you interrogated Chief Harris over Chief Harris' death? There was no need for it. And let me warn you, Richard. You are beginning to annoy me. I've given you enough rope. You have no right to tell me what to do. I am your father, not the other way around. So? So get out of here. You, you want me to get out of your house? Yes, get out I am of getting house. out of your house. Out of what is house. I'm getting out. Out. Go. What kind of a son are you? You're not my father. I am your father. Who the hell do you think you are? Hilda! 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 See your son, oh. Go and warn him. Warn that boy. He will get into trouble. Nigeria by now. What? You're not coming for my father's funeral? You are no longer interested. And you don't want to go with the relationship. Jeff, what are you talking about? Jeff? Hello? Hello?
Isabel. Ah. What is the matter? What's the matter with you? You are crying. What's the matter? What's it? Come on. Jeff just called. He called to call out the relationship. No. No. That's why he called. No. Not at this time. Oh my god. Oh, look at you. No, it's okay, it's okay. This is local in the I don't want to ask you Hello? Quincy? What? What is it? Where? What is it? Hello? Hello? Well, what's Hello? It now? Mommy, what is it? Oh God! You talk to me. What is it? You don't have an accident. Jesus Christ! Oh God! Oh God! No. Mommy, what happened? I want to die. Mommy, mommy, please, mommy, 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 please, don't say this. Mommy, please, you know you can't die. Mommy, please. No. Mommy, why are you going to now? Mommy, you can't go out. You know you can't go out. You no. know that. I'm mommy, no, 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 no
por detrás de mí. of infertility. Most of them have come here, have conducted series of tests. They are okay. Yes, they can. Some of these women, they have had one abortion or another. Now that they are married, You came back yesterday. Yes. I commend your strength of character. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now that Chief has been buried and full of that, I want to keep the father's place. Try to see his lawyers and know if your father has a will. The father's businesses, you know, must continue. His position as chief executive officer is a position you have to occupy. So it means you have a task ahead of you. I'll do that. I and my mom, we are very grateful for what you've done for us. You were of immense help to us during the funeral, and we thank you so, so much. Your moral support was too much, and your suggestions was magic. Thank you very, very much, and God bless you. One more thing. I want you to search your father's office. Okay. Search if you can find anything that could give us a clue to his death. I'll do that. Alright? Though Chief is gone, I have not rested my oars. Search every file, file cabinet, desk, anything, okay? I'll do that. And um, I'll call you, okay? Okay, no I'll try to keep in touch. I will. Thank you very much. God bless you.
Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Eh? I also thank God that you have fully recovered. I thank God. I thank God, Christine. Please. Do you know I've been a dead person by now? Hilda, please. Don't even remember it. Don't even think of that. Hey! No. No. No, but I thank God you're back. Yeah, I'm still looking up to God. I still miss my husband and my son. I know. The whole house seems so empty now. I know. It's not easy. It's not easy. But don't worry, the Lord is so strong. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is how all the plans, lofty ambition, your first ambition, everything came oh, crashing. Oh, Hilda, please don't remind me of those things. They are all in the past now. Please. This world is really a mystery. So I can't go for my own life. <laughs> I'll give you a call. Yeah, please. Tell Quincy. 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 It's okay. not too much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll give you a call. Oh, I'm waiting for your call, eh? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on. Hello. 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 Thanks, Mom, for the gift. You say your name is Betty. Are you Isabella's friend? Because I haven't seen your face before. No. No, I'm not. I... I came to pay my condolence to the Harris family. To ask for their forgiveness. Ask for their forgiveness. I'm not the one that killed my husband. You are keeping quiet. Huh? Bye. It was this really stressful. Pregnant. Four months pregnant. Four months pregnant. Huh? Sorry. Sick of it all. For me? You have been sleeping with my husband before he died? She broke your nose. He said he was going to lie me before he was killed. I'm sorry. Hi. 
What a pleasant surprise. Mm. How are you doing? Well, I just came to see how the new chairman of Fuddy International Bank is doing. Well, she's not doing bad. At least she's had several meetings with the members of the board, the managing director, the GM, and the chief accountant. And she has relaxed to take the bank to another level. What do you think? I am not surprised. For someone who has a master's degree in business administration, specializing in financial management, from the prestigious Cambridge University. Hey, how would I expect something less? Nice? Oh, please, Richard, please, no flattery. Bill, no flattery. Anyway, you've got to take you out to lunch. Really? Wow, that's nice. Isabel, I. I want to tell you that I. I've developed a deep affection for you. These days. You occupy my thoughts. I just want you close to my heart. Richard, you know it can be possible. We are family friends and you know that. That's good. That's to our advantage. I could never hurt you. If I hurt you, I hurt you more. to do with myself. The pregnancy has refused to go away. And I went to Chief Harris' house. His wife beat me up. Did I hear pregnancy? Good evening, ma. You? I saw you end up in Chief Harris' house. Who are you? Who are you, actually? Who are you? You're pregnant for my husband. You're pregnant for my husband, right? Your brother for late Chief Harry? Chief, are you aware of this? No, I don't know about it. Chief Harry was your best friend. How would I know? Two people go into a room, I will know when the making chocolate day where a man makes a woman pregnant. Why should I know? Is he away? He's away. Leave my compound. Leave my compound right away. I can see. Chief. So this is you. So how many girls are pregnant for you? Yeah. How many girls are pregnant for you? Listen, listen, listen. Don't make noise. The robots are listening. Let them hear. I want them to hear it. Hear that you. So all you're left with is you go and meet your chain of guards. No. Right? No, no, no. Chief, you're not doing that thing. No. You are not moving an inch tonight. To no way! It's a serious political you meeting. You can't fool me it's again. It's a caucus meeting. No deal. You can't fool me again. No, I'm going to go and get dressed and I let you speak out. You're not moving. Frederick, don't bring that kid here. Chief, how many guys are coming for you? Okay, listen. Listen now. Come, come. Let me alone. Come. Chief. Chief. So this is you. Yes, come. Right? 
saw you were my father's mistress. You are not ashamed to date a man as old as your father. A man whose daughter is your influence. You fool digger. Oh, I forgot. He was your black girl, huh? Your father. <laughs> <laughs> what a brilliant answer, you empty vessel. So, tell me something. How can a young girl like you date an old man when there's several young men out there? He will not for his money. And how am I sure? And my father is responsible for your pregnancy. You liar! I am not lying. I'm standing here taking your insults because of your father. And what would you have done? I see. Your house. You call this your house. How am I sure your sugar daddy, my father, didn't give you this thing you call your house? Just take a good look at yourself. You call yourself a big girl and you virtually an empty. You can't even manage yourself. You're pregnant for a dead one. Would the child ever have a future? You will have no shame. You really have no shame. Leave my house now. You regret it. Try it if you can. And I'll let you know I'm not straight right like you. Oh no, I'll leave. But let me tell you something. Stigler of my family. Yes. You hug your pregnancy elsewhere. Rubbish. I don't expect that from you. Well, I still insist we should have nothing to do with that girl. I don't agree with you. Your father is an heir. Who knows? That girl may be able to give it to me. What? Please. I don't think you know what you're talking about. I am going to take care of that girl. What did you say? Isabel. Isabel. What money? Would you want to stay in your father's house and raise children for him? What? No, not to tell it's barbaric. I wouldn't want that either, because he's a Christian. Maybe God wants to wipe away our tears by giving us a child. <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm. You are still too young to understand. That girl wanted to abort that baby, but the doctor advised her against it. That's God's providence, and I wouldn't want to stand on God's way. Mommy, how are you sure that the so-called Betty is not lying? Have you really thought about that? I am a mother. I know she's not. I don't even blame her as such. I blame your father. <clears throat> Mom, just leave Dad out of this, okay? Leave Dad out of this, okay? Hungry.
You see, I'm so happy. I am going to become the next Syrian president. <laughs> I see. So, Fred, are you sure of that? Yes, I'm sure. Because I have bad news for you. What bad news? Do you know one Susan Amalaya? But before she died, she told her father that he put her in the family way and abandoned her. Her father is Jibun Jai's cousin, her arch enemy. Jibun Jai's one son is from the kingdom to get back at. But the party leadership got rid of it. And they had to call him to order. They equally stopped the publication from circulating. And you are paying the price. You have been replaced by Mary Star Ipejuku. And they will soon communicate to you. How could they have done that without giving me a fair hearing? How? How could they take such a decision without consulting me? How could they? I'm decamping to another party. If you do that, you will not win. You remember the last elections? The number of the guarantees won from the various political parties. You remember? There is power in the currency. That Susan has ruined me. She has ruined me. Oh, if I had known this, I would have listened to that girl when she called me on that day. What? Oh. Uh, what? Yes. Some mistakes are very, very heinous. Yes, yes, yes. The crowd. They will have a meeting with the party leadership. I'll see you later. You have refused to tell me what the problem is. What is it? Share it and make the body lighter for yourself. You will not eat, you will not talk to me. I have a small problem with my party. What's the nature of the problem? It's enough, woman. So no, that's enough, okay? I'm off. Ah, you know Richard, you're welcome. Thank you, Mom. Dad, there's something I would like to discuss with you. I'm not in the mood for any discussion. Let's hear him out now. Okay, you're not in the mood. But I'll say it anyways. I'd like to inform you that I think it's time for me to settle down. Well, I've moved into an apartment and I think I'm old enough to get married. I'm really happy to hear this. You would, Mom. So, I have asked for the hand of the late chief, Harry's daughter, Isabella. You cannot marry that girl. Dad, what's your reason? Because I say you cannot marry her. But it's not given any, any reason, Chief. Hilda, keep quiet for once. Dad, if it's about the morning thing, it's over. They finish morning. It is not over. Tradition says one year. But that's glorifying death. That is the tradition. Dad, things have changed. In their communities, three months. Other communities, it's six months. I have told you that you cannot marry that girl. And if you do, you will not bless, bless me. Okay. If you don't bless me, God will. God sees my heart. Besides, he's crying my child. Are you serious? 
I will not be kidding. No, Dad, I am not kidding. At least after this, you have more peace in your life. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Indeed. Yes. My dad is coming with you. Ah, that's fine. Good. <laughs> Lest I forget. Have you gone for a scan? I have. I'm scared. Why? Scared of what? Is it money? Then what? The doctor said I'm going to have twins. And it means. Twins. That means. Oh God. How wonderful. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah. You're going to have twins and their meals. That's beautiful, my dear. Oh, who is your doctor? Um, Dr. Gaga. Ah. Wonderful gynecologist. You are in safe hands, my dear. <laughs> Let's get to the car. Because I left my bag in the car. I'll give you a check of 200,000. No. I'm okay. My business is doing very well. You've done so much for me already. It's okay. That's fine. Thanks for the care. It's okay. Don't worry. You're a very different woman. Thank you. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me in case there's any problem. See your doctor regularly. Hmm? Never cover my husband's compound anymore. Hey, Amen. Amen. Hey, ma'am. Who says that God does not answer prayers? He does not only answer prayers, he answers by fire. Jehovah is his name. Jehovah God. Mom, you are talking in parables. Oh my God. <laughs> Isabel. Yes, mommy. You will soon have brothers. What are you talking about? Betty went to see the doctor, mm -hmm. and the doctor has confirmed that she will have two boys. Oh, 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 there is yet another news. Oh, yes. Well, you know, Isabel and I are getting married soon. Well, not oh. that. Well, she's expecting my baby. Oh, great! <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, you can say that again. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You know what? We're going to have dinner together. 
Good. Lift him up. Lift him up. Exalt his holy name. Lift him up. You. Lift him up. Exalt his holy name. Oh, lift him up. Like this, man. you don't know me for sharp joints. Now, yeah. where? Yeah. Now they fall in sharp joints. Yeah. Yeah. That sharp joints. Yeah. 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 Correct. Hey, my guy, you see what you have to see. You get one small two and one make you help us arrange. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wait, 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 wait till they hold this guy. What do they hold this Man, I know we know they follow this guy. They are still time now, we don't have time. I beg if you know they are ready for the square, I'm holding. I beg, I beg, we'll be very, very serious. Now, what's not the day? I beg, we'll be very serious. Which guy? Which guy goes to the guy? Which guy goes to the guy? Hey, my guy, it's not for you. Ah, uh, that's uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 Well, marriage is a good thing. Yeah, that is good for one to see his grandchildren. Now that I know I'm not going to be seeing it again. Dad! The marriage will bring joy to me. Dad! Yes! Dad! Do you know this boy? Who are these people? Who are they? You have not answered my question. I say, do you know this voice? No, I don't. Do you know him? Yes. Do you know him? Yes. He paid us to kill Chichi Vari. Jesus! Shut up! Have I ever met you before? Have I ever? Don't deny it, Chief. I don't know you. You know, sir. We've met. Dad, how could you have asked them? Yes, everything that you What problem? A little boy that hurt us. And my partner had a shoot. What did you do? You are the same as I was. I, I don't think there's anything to hide anymore. Yes, it was over, you know, this squabble over this girlfriend, you know. Dad, what a shame. You asked these boys to kill your best friend? My Godfather! Because of the girl! Dad, how could you? A married man! This is a bombshell! My God! There's only one way to qualify you. Evil. This piece of me. God forbid. It will give me great pleasure to prosecute you and send you to jail. Officers, arrest him! Arrest this man! Arrest him! Arrest him! Um, sir, so you have to. Please arrest him! Take him out of here! Just take him out! It's okay! It's okay!
Richard, I'm sorry, you cannot marry Isabel. But why, Mom? You will not marry her. Mom, it's not our fault. So? Tell me, what will people say? Huh? That my daughter got married to the son of the man that killed my husband? But Christa, please, now. Isabella is already pregnant. So? Whoever these children are in love. Hilda, tell me, is it every pregnancy that sees the light of day? Huh? Are you suggesting she abort the pregnancy? No, no, no. Nobody is aborting my baby. Nobody. I'm not, don't, don't, don't look at it now. It's an innocent baby we're talking about here. The baby has done nothing. Mom, I have never supported my father, not even for one day. Please, please, you can't walk this out. Okay, you can walk something. Yeah, hello? Hello? Yes? Who is this? That's what? You don't mean it! I, I don't have two sons. Eh? Oh, oh God. God. Betty. Betty. Oh, praise God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening in this bedroom? Men have become morally bankrupt. Unfaithfulness is now the order of the day. They chase everything in skirts and trousers. Shameless acts have become virtues. Among men of timber and caliber, it's a shame, what a shame, a big shame.